everybody, it's Matt here, and I just want to encourage you guys as we're getting close uh, to the end of this 21 days of fasting and praying uh, to keep it up to finish strong. For those of you who maybe have gotten off the wagon, found a little bump in the road, whatever, it's okay. Uh, last week for me, I got sick for a couple of days, and it just took me out. Um, yeah, but I've gotten back on the wagon, and I'm going to finish strong, and I hope that you will too. Uh, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Psalms 37.4, and I've been reminded of it as I have been going throughout this journey. And it simply says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And one of the ways that I've always kind of interpreted that passage of scripture is when it says, give you the desires of your heart. Um, I've always substituted that word give for reveal, like the, the, he will reveal the desires of your heart. He's, as in he's planted things in your heart and that you know the, the journey of life and of following Jesus is a process of him beginning to open that up and reveal the things that he's put in you, the desires that he's put in you. And it's been a, a reminder of that as I've gone through this journey of, of prayer and fasting. And uh, it's been really, really fun to see that. The other thing that he's reminded me of is just the simplicity of following Jesus. You know, as, the, as you follow Jesus, he reveals those desires of your heart. As that passage says, delight yourself in the Lord or follow Jesus, put him first, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, right? All these things like seek him first, delight in him first, follow him, and he will reveal the desires of your heart. He will give you the desires of your heart. And so I hope that one of the things that has happened that as you have been on this journey of, uh, of prayer and fasting, that he is beginning to reveal the things in your heart that really get you excited, that really get you motivated. I pray that that's one of the things that is happening for you and that you are beginning to be sensitive to the things that he's putting on your heart. Um, today's passage is all about, you know, Jesus calling the disciples and he just simply said, follow me. And I love how simple that is. Follow me. They dropped their nets and they began to follow him. And it didn't mean that all of a sudden they were instantly experts and everything. They just trusted him and they followed him. And uh, I just, I love how simple that is. And I, I believe that God will do the same thing for you. In fact, the other day I was at the gas station and this lady comes up and she was like, oh, excuse me, sir, could you, do you know anything about cars? And I don't know a ton about cars, but I know enough to be dangerous. <laughs> and uh, I said, sure, yeah, I could, I could help you out. And so she needed help trying to figure out how much oil she had in her car. She didn't have any, which was not a good thing, but... I was helping her out and my tank filled up and so I pulled around and continued to help her get a couple of quarts in there so she could get it home. Uh, and anyways, at the end of it, she was just like blown away. She's like, I mean, I'm, I'm so grateful. Like, thank you so much. Like most people wouldn't do that. She was just amazed by the kindness of, a get, of it, I guess. And, you know, it was an opportunity for me to just say, hey, it's not a problem. Like, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Um, I hope that this is just something that might encourage your day. Like it was it's very simple. But when we're sensitive to what God is doing in our life and revealing to us, things naturally, opportunities naturally arise like that. And those opportunities can lead to other conversations that lead to other conversations that then eventually get to a point where you can invite people uh, to church or to your life group, or into another conversation. It's very natural when we begin to become sensitive to the things that God is revealing within our hearts. And so I pray and I hope that as you guys are continuing on this journey, that you are experiencing the same things. And if you haven't, I pray that you would begin to understand the things that God has put in your heart. He's put something very unique in each and every one of us, a passion, a desire, something to be a part of, something that gives us life, right? He's put that in your heart. And I believe that as we slow down and as we pray and as we focus on him, that he will begin to reveal those things. And so I'm encouraged by that. I hope that you guys will be encouraged by that as well and that you will actually experience that this week. That's my prayer for you. So again, let's finish strong. 
We will see you on Sunday, 8.30, 10 o'clock, 11.45. Love you so much. God bless.